Hello, I'm astronaut John Creighton. I uh, joined the uh, space program in uh, 1978 with the 35 new guys that were picked specifically to fly the space shuttle and was fortunate enough to get the opportunity to fly the space shuttle three times. Uh, first time as a pilot on STS-51G and then as the commander on STS-36 and uh, commander once again on STS-48. On launch morning everything is see, scripted right down to the minute you get, have breakfast and, uh, and then you go get suited up and you come out of the, the uh, crew quarters and get in the launch uh, or the uh, van to take you out to the launch bed. And the only people that are on the uh, you know, the bus for that are the drivers, the crew, and the head of the astronaut office. And uh, so uh, you know, on my first flight, why, uh, we went out there and then we got to the whole shore point adjacent to the launch control center where the head of the astronaut office got up and, and uh, wished us well and, you know, and waved goodbye and then got out and went into the mission control center and, and, uh, and represented to the crew there. Well, on my second space flight, now this was my first space flight was before the Challenger disaster. My second flight was uh, after the Challenger. And uh, so uh, when we got to the whole chore point and the head of the astronaut office, you know, got up and uh, he was about to get off the bus and he turned around and, and he looked at us and said, can we bow our heads in prayer? And several of us looked at one another that had flown before and we hadn't done this previously, but it was now after the challenge and we thought, well, maybe this is the way they're doing it now. So we all bowed our heads and he said very solemnly, God help you if you screw this up. And with that, he laughed, waved goodbye, <laughs> got off the bus, and, and we headed on the launch pad. A good way to break the ice and, and the apprehension of this building and whatnot. But it was, I'll always remember that, uh, that parting uh, <laughs> shot for the crew.